So I've had a lot of people ask me on how to do a tutorial for uh, RuneScape graphics in BDO or just how to have your graphics like a super potato mode or just a lot lower for like large scale and GVGs and stuff like that. Uh, I use this every now and then. It's not something that I would use all the time, but it definitely helps depending on what kind of fights you're doing, especially if there's like over 200 people, it can get pretty laggy. So I try to have my FPS as best as it could be. And uh, the best way to do that is with this thing called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Um, the original one used to just be called NVIDIA Inspector, but they recently changed it. So if you're looking at other guides that just says to get NVIDIA Inspector, uh, it's not the right one. It won't let you change the settings. So you need the one that says NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Uh, I'll link this in the description, but uh, all you have to do is just download this. And then you're going to want to extract it into a file that you just have on your desktop, uh, which is what I did. Uh, I'm going to do it here, have it in here in BDO RuneScape mode, you just extract it to there, and then that file that you will have will be in here. Um, these two files, BDO Potato and then RuneScape.exe, uh, I'll have these in my Discord um, for, for download if you want to have your own profiles, but um, it's very easy, you just want to make sure your BDO is closed, it's like the most important part, but um, when you have that, you just want to search up Black Desert, and then your Black Desert will be here. Uh, the files that they're changing, or I guess the settings, are this LOD bias, and then I think it's going to be something with like multi-sampling, and then I think another setting, I can't remember what it is, I think it'll show me here. But, um... What I do is I just do it the simple way where I just import a file that's already changed with settings and so I'll go to my desktop again, BDO RuneScape and then I'll just do the the one that's the most like, uh, what's it called, what's the word for it, just lower settings I guess, this is like the one that is like incredibly potato mode. But uh, as you see it'll be saved into it and then you just hit apply changes. And then to see how like the LOD bias and the quality is different, this is like the settings that they end up changing. But all you gotta do is hit apply, and then uh, you close this out, and then you open up your BDO. And I'll show you that here in a second. So once you have your BDO open, the first thing you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna do is have your settings be on Opti mode. You have to have your settings on Opti mode and low, otherwise um, it's gonna look uh, super distorted and you're not going to be able to really tell what anything's happening. It's just going to be all sorts of fucked up. So the main thing you're going to want is just having your settings on Opti mode. It's the most important, but that's literally all you have to do. And then you also want to make sure your filter is on none. Uh, I've heard some stuff about like the filter messing it up as well, but as long as you have your filter on none and then your uh, settings on Opti mode. I'll show you what mine are here. Low of it, Opti mode. Uh, this is like what it would be. This is the RuneScape uh, preset. So as you can tell, like a lot of it is super. Just like there's no like depth to any of the material. Uh, the only annoying part is that the grass can get uh, pretty annoying if you're fighting in it. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening. But aside from that. Uh, especially with trees, there's just a lot more visibility and you're able to see uh, a lot more, especially for range classes, it kind of helps a lot, but uh, if you want to see like what skills maybe, I can show you what it will look like. Uh, I, I, what I usually do as well is that I'll have my um, character effects all the way down because as you'll see like the effects are like super black and kind of gets distracting because of the effects on them there just isn't as defined as it normally is but um see it's not too bad but you're just gonna see a bunch of black squares which kind of gets annoying uh and then so what i'll usually do is just put my opacity like at 30 and then i'll just run it like that so i don't have to see the black squares as much i mean you'll still kind of see some effects but it's not super defined as it normally is and then if you want to change it back, all you got to do is just close the game and then you open up your NVIDIA inspector, uh, the same one that you opened up to start it. And then you just look up Black Desert again 
and then you just hit this button to restore current profiles to NVIDIA defaults and then your game will be back to normal. And if you want to do one that it isn't as potato mode, this one is like, I mean, it's it's definitely like a little bit potato, but it isn't like as severe as like this one is. So I usually run this one. If I'm not like really worried about my FPS, that's the one that I would run most of the time. And then you just do the same thing, open up your game, you'll see that it's changed. And then if you want to restore it back to defaults, you just click this button right here. If you want the files, um, I'm going to have the files here in a channel. It'll be called um, RuneScape Graphics or something along the lines of that. You just join. I'll have the link in my description, but uh, the two files will be there along with the video. And then if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them on my Discord.